Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Mr. Malone, and I will be your 7th grade math teacher this year. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to be here today or this evening um, because I'm in Chicago with my family right before school starts. Uh, so I thought that I'd find some way to kind of introduce myself to you guys. Um, I know it's a big day moving to the, the big high school, moving out of the elementary, um, and it's exciting. And I, I know you guys are looking forward to meeting all your teachers and getting used to everything. Uh, so I thought it'd be good to at least see my face, even if I'm not here. Um, first off, welcome. Welcome to the, the big high school, like I said. Um, it can be exciting times and at the same time be a little nerve-wracking for some of you, but I promise it's an easy transition. You'll get the hang of things before you know it. Um, this video uh, that I'm using right now is actually something that I'm going to try using this year in class. So uh, this is for the parents too. Um, I'm going to try to post a video on what we are going to do the next day in class um, on Google Classroom each night so that you guys can go ahead and get prepared for what's to come. Um, if you missed that day of school, it would be a good resource to uh, see what you missed so there's not really an excuse of not knowing what's what's going on or, or asking, hey, what would we do yesterday or anything like that because um, it's all here. Uh, it's also something good to look back on if you missed something in class that day or didn't fully understand it, didn't write something down. Um, this is going to be a good tool to use for that. Um, I'm kind of a laid-back kind of person. I like to have fun while we learn. So it's not always going to be just sit in your seats, pay attention to what I'm doing, and then uh, do your homework, and then that's it. Okay, I, I like to have fun. I, I like to be a little relaxed about it. Uh, that's why this year I added a uh, couch in the back, and I got a chair up front. Got some putt-putt going on up front there. Um, got an arm wrestling table right there. It is actually made just for arm wrestling. Uh, we'll try to use these things throughout the year in different ways and, and uh, just have a little fun while we're learning because I think that's important. I think if you dread coming every day, then, then you're not going to get as much out of it as if you look forward, and, uh, look forward to class and want to work hard. Um, so I'm going to go through real quick exactly how uh, we would do this with these screencasts. So you just go to uh, your Google Classroom. Uh, all of you will have a, a Google Classroom for this class. Um, these are last year's classes here. So you would just click on Math 7, Period 1, if you're in Period 1. And um, they would just be posted right here. Um, scroll through and see all the stuff I posted last year. Like last thing I posted was a survey that I gave the students. Um, that's where you'll find the videos and you can click on them and watch them um, as much as you want. As far as materials needed this year, uh, you don't really need anything other than a pencil and a paper and then you'll have two books. Um, the two books you'll have, and I'll grab one. Uh, the first book you'll have is the instruction book here. Looks like this. Um, that is just going to be used in class for actually teaching the material. Um, there's no homework problems in that or anything. Um, as far as homework problems, that's where this comes into play. Your practice and problem solving book here. Okay, um, That's where all your homework will be. Um, Parents, if you want to help your your kids out on their homework or anything, every uh, lesson has a dear family and it explains what exactly you're going to be doing in each lesson. Because I know sometimes it's been a while since you guys have seen this stuff too, and it's kind of just a refresher for you uh, to to explain what's going on exactly. I'll try to post that as well every time on Google Classroom. Um, but if I don't, they're in the book there, and yeah, that's about it for that. Um, 
going back to it being a relaxed classroom, I do enjoy having fun and, and, and not always being serious. Now, with that being said, with seventh graders, I mean, you guys are in the, the high school now, so I'm relying on you to uh, kind of mature a little bit and handle that relaxed atmosphere and, and still know when you have to get work done. I know sometimes it can be like herding cats whenever seventh graders get loose and have freedom and stuff. So I'm going to I'm gonna try to not let that be the case. And for those of you that haven't ever seen what herding cats is like, got a little video here. This man right here is my great grandfather. He's the first cat herder in our family. Herding cats. Don't let anybody tell you it's easy. Anybody can herd cattle. Hold them together 10,000 half wild short hairs. Oh, that's another thing altogether. Being a cat herder is probably about the toughest thing I think I've ever done. I got this one this morning, right here. And if you look at his face, it's it just ripped to shreds, you know? You see the movies, yeah. you hear the stories, it's... I'm living a dream. Not everyone can do what we do. I wouldn't do nothing else. It ain't an easy job, but when you bring a herd into town and you ain't lost a one of them, ain't a feeling like in the world. So that's uh, herding cats there. That's just a funny video about it. Um, obviously, I want you guys to enjoy coming to class every day, but I also want you to understand when it's time to get down to business and actually put some work in. Um, it's really hard to, to fail this class. Uh, you have to really put in effort to fail in this class. But at the same time, you're going to have to put in a lot of effort to succeed. Um, I have high expectations for everybody, and I, I want the best for everybody. I really do, and uh, I'm going to push you guys a lot, and hopefully you're up for the challenge. Um, just another funny video I found the other day that I'll, I'll share with you real quick. It's uh, about a five-minute video here. I think it's pretty funny. because I didn't understand questions 3, 4, uh, 9, 8, 10, 1, 2, and 3. Nah, man, you didn't teach us any of this stuff. I thought it was optional. Uh, I had a power outage last night. You don't understand. You don't understand. I went to go see the Avengers movie last night, and I don't want to ruin it for you, but I was angry. I was angry. And I couldn't do my homework. Homework? I don't have any time for work. The only work I'm getting done is over at Zaxby's. The school ain't paying me no money. Take me a sip. Okay, guys, as you know, your project is due Friday. Um, it's uh, We're 10% of your grade. We're going to work on it in class. Are there any questions? When is it due? Is this for a grade? Are we doing this in class? When am I going to use this in real life? So if you add all of these numbers together... Oh! Could I, could I go to the bathroom? Maybe you want to see if this will work? So extra. Yes? Uh, I, I hurt my wrist. Can I go see the nurse? Where were you? That was like 30 minutes. Did I had to uh, see my counselor. Did you go to the vending machine? No. We want to add these together. So we'll... We'll go ahead and we'll add 92 to 43 and... We'll just go ahead and... Yeah. 
So 25 and 7 plus 92 plus 4. I'm not late. My back's right there. It's already here, so I'm not late. Okay, are you on your phone? I'm not on my phone. Why are you tripping? Hey, can I use a pencil? Can I buy a calculator? Hey, you got a dollar right tomorrow? Do you get change for a 20? Got anything to eat? Hey, um, I'm not late. Like Miss Carrera said, just to come. Without a pass, it's okay. I, I can go back and get a pass if you really want me to. Oh, it's 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 my mom. It's a it's an emergency. I just give me a second. I'm just I'll be done in a second. Just give me a second. It's my job. I gotta take this. Can I bring this, Miss Jenkins? You can see me. I'm right across the hall. Hey, can I go outside and eat my sandwich? Hey, um, I'm not late because there was like a lot of traffic. I couldn't help it. And you know, all those like freshmen hang out right here in the hall, so I was gonna be on time, so I'm not I'm not really late. Hey. So the lines were like really long today, like so many people were there. Um, but but I'm not like late because I was like here on time. Here and like also I brought you this. Hey, my mom just texted and I'm supposed to go downstairs to check out. We're going on a cruise like two weeks it, it may be longer and she wanted me to talk to you and get all the work that I'm gonna miss while I'm gone so can I get all the work that I'm gonna miss while I'm gone on my cruise for the next two weeks or it, again it may be longer between class B and class C and their scores are going to hey where are you going but the bell's about to ring you tripping but there's five minutes left in class So again, just a, a kind of funny video there. Um, growing up, I always thought, well, teachers just don't put up with much. But uh, now that I've experienced it for a year, it's funny to see those from that perspective because uh, a lot of it is true. Um, again, I, I want it to be as relaxed and, and fun as possible, but at the same time, I'm going to have expectations, and, and you'll you'll learn to uh, find out what my expectations are as, as we so sort of spend some time together. Um, other than that, I uh, thank you guys for coming in today. Sorry I couldn't be there again. Um, I look forward to meeting all you guys. Uh, welcome to the the big seventh grade. Thanks. Uh, just a side note, real quick, if you don't mind uh, playing the video again, I can't seem to put it on a loop, so you're gonna have to hit play on here every time to watch it for the the next group to come in or or anybody uh, that might be wanting to watch from the beginning. Thanks.